action. Hello, Mr. Jeff. How are you today? Good. Great. Well, today is a new time that we'll be having your lesson, either right now at this time or maybe earlier. It depends on when your parents want. Okay. Looks like it's going to be on Fridays from now on. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get my pencil, my pen, and marker, and eraser, and this. Oh, actually, I don't think we're using this quite yet, so we don't need that yet. But when we learn the notes on the staff, which I hope is very soon, we'll get to use that. Okay? So if I may please see your binder. Okay. Here's your nice looking binder. Sometimes I forget to log. Well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and make sure that everything is up to date. Today. Is this your pen back here? I need a pencil. Let's put that right here in front. Okay, so because this is the most recent, let's put it up front. And everything else will be in the back. There we go. Okay, so last lesson was on the 15th of August. Mm -hmm. And today is the 25th of August. Let's go ahead and take this out. Oh, look at that. It got dark all of a sudden. <laughs> Let's maybe turn on this light over here. There it is. That's better. Okay. So today is Sir Jet piano lesson. So did you have fun at school today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what did you do at school today? Lots of math. Oh, you like math, do you? Are you going to be an engineer when you get older? Or a mathematician? I'm going to be a scientist or an astronaut. Or an astronaut. Hey, hey. I think someday we'll all be astronauts if we don't take care of our Earth. <laughs> okay. So today is the 25th of August. And last week, I talked about downloading and using Musician's Diary. Were you able to do that, Mr. No. Jeff? No? Okay, well, if it hasn't happened by this week, I guess we can just mark it off and not have to worry about it. It says here, when we practice, that we are to practice one section perfectly twice per day, and then the whole song twice after practicing sections twice, right? Okay. So that applies to the echo song. So we're at page 17. Let's go ahead and have you, since you had a lot of days to practice. Oh, right, I forgot. So you have three days here. Are there any other days that you need to fill in? Um. Go ahead and get your pencil. Are you pen? Yeah, pencil. And if you need to fill in more days, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, 9.10 to 9.15, so you get five minutes. Any other day? Okay, thank you. Well, I noticed that there aren't any um, initials or signatures next to these times. 
So please make sure that your parents, either one of them, comes down here to listen to you practice or perform what you have practiced okay. so they can sign off on it. Please, if you can watch him practice or listen to him and sign off on it, I would appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty then, let's take a look at our music, The Echo. I'm looking forward to hearing this. Let's go ahead and sit your bench properly in front of the keyboard. Make sure it's nice and straight and that you're right there in the middle. Okay, let's go ahead and place our hands on our knees. Let's go place our hands on our knees and then lift them up onto the keyboard. Make sure they're nice and curved. So, see where I'm seeing a nice curve like that? Yeah, look, that looks really good. Okay, can we please play all these notes harmonically? Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I like to hear. What about melodically? Let's make sure you get that one too. Very good, very good. Okay, so we have the echo song here. And we have practiced all the steps. Are you ready to perform? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's count off to begin. Ready? One, two. Let's stop for just a moment. Now, I notice you were trying your best to play that softly. It's okay, this keyboard is, it's okay. But this, you did a great job with this measure right here. It sounded very, very soft. However, these three notes here, hmm. Let's place our hands back on the keys. Very good. And let's play this measure again. And as we play that measure, let's say the finger numbers, okay? okay. Here we go, ready one? You can place your left hand there too. Okay, very good. One, two, three, four. Two, three, two, release. Now let's start from here and go to the end, okay? One, you can place your left hand there too. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, three, two, three, two, release. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you a very honest question, Mr. Jet. Do you prefer not to sing, or do you really, do you want to sing? I don't want to sing. You don't want to sing? That's okay. However, I would appreciate, though, if you would sing or say note names and finger numbers. If you can say those two, then you don't have to sing the lyrics. How's that sound? Okay. Okay, you're going to have to shake on it. And you have to look me in the eye when you shake. You say, I will do it. I'll do it. That's what I like to hear. I like your dinosaur shirt right there. What did that say? It says, roar. Okay. So let's go ahead and start again from the very beginning. And instead of your singing, I will sing and you will accompany me. Okay. Okay? So let me get a little close so I can see those lyrics. Are you, are you ready? Let's count off to begin. One, two, three. Hello, Mr. Echo. Hello, Mr. Echo. Will you come and play with me? Will you come and play with me? What is this? It's um, a repeat. Song. I repeat sign because we have another verse. Let's go to the beginning. To the beginning, sing verse two, and go. If you can come quickly, if you can come quickly, we will have such fun. You. Hey, the 
these two measures were excellent. Do this with your hands. Excellent. Not like this, next. Not like that. But excellent. Okay. Now, Mr. Jet, I'll tell you something. This performance deserves a bit of recognition. Now, I know you're not old. Enough, you're not too old for stickers, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Everybody loves stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this the recognition of a notable imprint, and it has grand piano. You know, someday, if you practice well enough and for a long time, maybe someday your parents or maybe even yourself will get a grand piano just like that mm -hmm. to play on. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah. That's right. All right, then. So we're we'll doing on time. Alrighty, let's go ahead and move on because we have completed this piece here. Or I want to try something new. Have we ever played a duet before, Mr. Jet? We have on. Um, do we play a duet upstairs or did we play it down here? We did it down here at West. With one of those pieces from the past, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's time to play another duet. I think it was. One of these ones here? It must have been that one. Well, take a look. We have this music here as a duet. This is my part down here, and this is going to be your part up there. Now, in order for us to play this properly as a duet, you're going to have to play an octave higher. Can you tell me what the word octave means? Octave means um, higher or lower. By how many notes? Eight. Eight, that's right. Eight notes higher or lower. Place your fingers in the position for echo song. Okay? Now, please place those fingers an octave higher. Actually, it's going to be right here. Alrighty then. Can we play these notes harmonically? What about melodically? Can we do that again? Make sure every note sounds. Very good, very good. Okay, I'm going to place my hands in position. And let's play this together, okay? Now remember, you have the melody, and you have to take charge. Okay, will you do that? So let's count off. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Every single note sounds, okay? Let's start from here, please. Ready? One, two, three, four. Let's try that again. Make sure everything sounds. It's a little rough, mm -hmm. but we got through it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and place your bench back in solo position. Very good. And I'm going to come on over here. Okay, let's make sure we're in the right position. Hands in on our keys. Very good. Oh, here it is. So, we can go ahead and check that off. Now it says here to memorize the steps for learning a new 
piece of music. Mr. Jett, what are the steps for learning a piece of music? I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. I want you to look at them. Go ahead and read through them for a couple, couple seconds. If you need to use your hands to make the motions, that helps out sometimes. Okay, all right. So the steps for learning a new piece of music, we have, let's see, five steps. What is step number A or step number one? Step number one is clap and say the beats. Clap and count the rhythm or the beats. Yeah, exactly. Say the, say the beats. What is step number two? Step number two is say the lyrics. No, nope. we're not doing the lyrics yet. That's number two. What comes before the lyrics? You can... So we clap and count the rhythm of the beat, right? We're saying the, the beats. What comes after that? What should we do after that? We should, um... Are we going to clap again, or are we going to play? We're going to play. Mm -hmm. I'll help you out. I'm going to point it. Play each note mm -hmm. in a measure. Right, but what am I pointing to? Notes. See these numbers? Mm -hmm. What are those numbers for? They're for um, your fingers to play. That's right. So step number two is to play and say the finger number. Mm -hmm. What about step number three? Step number three is say or sing the lyrics. Nope. Tell you what, we're going to have to modify these steps because we're not going to be singing lyrics anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and try the new steps again. So we're going to try practicing, or we're going to try to memorize these steps every day. Go ahead and turn the page. We are now going to take a look at pages 18 through 19. So we have here two pages of one whole song, Jolly Old St. Nicholas. This is a Christmas song. It's kind of early for Christmas, right? Because it's still way hot out there. But let's see how well you practice this week with this new song following the steps. Okay. So let's get your hands in position. Actually, let's maybe bring them up here. There it is. And let's move this down just a little bit over. There. Okay, very good. We have new keys. So whenever you're ready, Let's go ahead and have you perform first the, the first page and then the second page, okay? okay. So whatever you was count before, count before. One, two, three, four. Still stay there. So tell me, how did you do, Jeff? I did pretty good. Can you tell me something you could improve upon? Um, finishing at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is one way you can finish at the end? 
or make it a little better? Um, by playing it by the notes. That's right. Let's go ahead and place our fingers back on the keys. And what we're going to do is we're going to start from here and we're going to go to the end. Okay? Now, I think it would be a great idea if we were to say the finger numbers as we play, which is step number two, right? Mm -hmm. So let's practice step number two so we can improve this part. Are we ready? Let's yeah. sing this together. Ready? One, two, oh, one, okay. two, three, four. Two, 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 three, three, right hand, two, three, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, release. <gasps> wow, that improved our, your performance like by 100,000%, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now that we practice step number two, let's try... I think we can skip step number three and just go to step number five. Okay, so we're gonna play all by ourselves. Step right from here to the end. Okay. So straight like this. And count off to begin. One, two, three. Good job. Very good, Mr. Jeff. That was an excellent performance. Now, I'm going to ask you one question. How many beats does this note have? Two. What about those notes over there? One. Oh, no, no. What about this one here? Two. And that one? Two. Well, when you first played it, you played them as two quarter notes instead of a half note. Let's clap the half note, shall we? One, two. Let's place our fingers on the keys, please. And I would like for you to please play this measure right there. So we're with the right hand, and our finger it is only three. Right hand, right hand, only three. Very good. What about this measure right here? So we have left hand and then right hand. Correct. Now, there were times when you played those half notes as two quarter notes. Perhaps let's try it again from the beginning, and this time we'll play them as half notes. Okay. Now, I'm not going to make you do step, C, step two again. I think we can go directly to step five because you know what to fix, right? Mm -hmm. Now, remember, I'm going to teach you to become an accompanist like me, which means... An accompanist plays for other people who sing or other people who play instrument, like a violin. So would you like to be an accompanist for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's stand up for a moment and we're going to stretch a little bit. Okay, we're going to bring our hands up to the sky. Can you touch the ceiling like me? Bring our arms down. Touch the toes. Yeah. Slowly come up one vertebra at a time. Bring the legs out. We're going to roll our, our shoulders like this. Like this to the back and then to the forward, like a dinosaur. Let's shake our hands. And our family members. Alright, let's go ahead and have a seat again. Alrighty then. Okay, so Mr. Jet, let's have you accompany me. I will sing the lyrics. Let's sit up properly at the bench, please. Our feet will get their legs uncrossed. Our fingers on the keys. Remember to keep them nice and curved. Those look very good. And let's start again from the very beginning. Jolly old St. Nicholas. Let's count off to begin. One, two, three, four. Jolly old St. Nicholas, lean your ear this way. Don't, don't you tell a single soul what I'm to say. Let's try that again. I think we got a little mixed up right here. How about we start from this part of the, of the system and we're going to have to go back to step two, okay? Okay. 
Let's go to step two, and we're going to say the finger numbers together. Ready? Count off to begin, please. One, two, three, four. Two, 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 three, three. Right hand. Two, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Release. Okay, we had a little bit of a hesitation there. Now we're going to go to step four. No, step five. Just your playing without my singing from the beginning of the system again, Mr. Jeff. Okay? Count off to begin, One, please. Two, three, four. Right here, beginning of the system. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now I notice you were having your fingers down here and then you placed them up here because it said to move the hands up, which is, just, which is kind of interesting. We'll actually do that when we play it as a duet, okay? Okay. Alright, let's try it again. Starting from here, please, and I will commence singing again, okay? Okay. Let's see the... Ready? Count off to begin, please. One, two, three, four. Don't you tell a single soul what I'm going to say. Christmas Eve is coming soon. Now you Did you hear that, guys? That was a great performance. Okay, now I think we have time for a duet. So let's go ahead and place your bench in duet position. And I'll place mine in duet position. Okay, let's place your fingers there on the keys. Now this is gonna require some stretching and looking differently, okay? Okay. So actually, hmm, hmm. So we're gonna have to place, place your bench a little bit further down. So we're gonna try placing your fingers here first, and then you're gonna place them up here for this page, okay? Yeah. Are you comfortable? Because I know you're having to move your body twisted a little bit, is that okay? Let's practice you playing from here. So play all these notes harmonically. Let's now move up an octave. Now those are harmonic. Very good, okay. Let's practice moving from here to here. I would like for you to start playing from there and then play this measure. From here, please. Ready? One. Let's count off together. One, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Three, two, three. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Remember, we have to play all four beats. One, two, three, four of this whole note. Okay. Let's try it again from here, please. Ready? One, two, three, four. Four. Three, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Four, 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 four. Hey, hey that's sounding really good. That's a that's pretty challenging, right? You have to play three beats here and then come down on finger number four without missing a beat, which you did a great job with. Okay, let's try it from the very beginning. Okay, let's Make our like, hands like this, get them ready, stretch them, and we're ready to play. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Count off to begin. One, two, three, four. I think we're getting a little confused because of the accompaniment, right? Mm -hmm. Let's try this again. This time, Mr. Jet, I would like for us to go back to step number two. What is step number two? Say the beat. No, that's step number one. Play and say finger numbers. Play and say finger numbers. Ah, yes, okay, let's go ahead and play the same finger numbers. As you play, please say the finger numbers as you do it. 
and I'm going to be playing my part. Now, if you're saying the finger numbers is going to help you concentrate on what you're supposed to play, right? Okay. Okay, let's try it again. Placing our fingers on keys. Count off to begin. One, two, three, four. Not bad. That was pretty good. It takes some getting used to when we play as an, as an ensemble. Did you know that's what we're playing as an ensemble? Which means we play together. Okay? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and place your bench back in solo position. Very good. Okay. Both of our binders look the same. Which is mine and which is yours? <laughs> okay, I think we're about done. But before we finish, let's assign you some new music. Let's go ahead and turn the page here. Now, for homework, let's go ahead and talk about, uh-oh. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the music book. Pages. We have here 20, and 21, and I want you to look at all of these pages too, up to 25. So 20 through 25. Now for 25, I mean from these pages here, 22, 23, 24, 25, it's gonna help us identify note names, as in A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, those are the letter names that are on the keyboard. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to take a look at these pages and see if you can memorize where these notes are located on the keyboard. This is just going to be like an introduction, okay? It's not like you better learn this or else, Mr. John. No, it's not like that. And next week I'm going to go ahead and bring a little game that helps us to reinforce where these notes are. Okay. okay, but mostly I want you to work on this music here, Old MacDonald Had a Farm. So it's going to be Paige, Old MacDonald, and the new steps are clap and say rhythm. Okay. Step B is to play and say finger number. Okay. Step C Let's see what that step C is going to be. Step C is going to be play and count. Play and count beat. In mind, remember to do it in your mind. Now it's helpful to have a metronome. Where's the metronome? And how do we... How do we decrease the tempo? By pressing the key. Can you decrease it for me? Oh wow. Can you increase it? <laughs> That's pretty good, right? And how do we turn it back up? There it is, very good. Now remember, when you pull, as you play, use a metronome, okay? Okay. Next step. I think we're not going to do the lyrics anymore. So, step D is going to be play, sorry, step, yeah, step D. Step D is going to be playing without counting. Which, or metronome, or metronome, which I'm playing. Which means you just play as, you, as though you're performing, okay? okay? So these are our new steps. We now only have four of them, as of, because we got rid of the lyrics. Okay, but I really want you to practice this here. For number two, learn 
the note names on keyboard. So we have here A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Those are the only note names that exist on the piano and in music. Okay, will you please do this for homework, Mr. Jack? Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm going to put your log of accountability. Now, do you still, have you been able to look at the perfect piano mm -hmm. app? Do you ever use that during the week? Yes. Oh, really? That's really good. I want you to practice, I want you to use that app every day, okay? Okay. Always look through it and play some of the games, learn some of the songs. It's kind of like Guitar Hero, but for piano, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here's your log of accountability. Continue to five to ten minutes each day. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. And remember to get your parents down here so they can listen to you and sign off on it, okay? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and turn off this video.